don't know if you're new. I know I look the best, but I wanted to do a quick little get ready with me trying out the new REM Beauty Sweetener Concealer. So I'm going to basically walk you guys through like my full face and like how I'm going to prep, what I'm going to put on, and then we're going to try the concealer. And then we're going to do a little wear test of the day. And then we're going to see if she's worth the hype. I've heard some great things about it. I've also heard some not so great things. So we're just going to try it out for ourselves and see, is it? Is it worth is it worth it or is it just another celebrity brand cash grab spoiler alert i don't feel that about my girl but some people do so let's just see so we're gonna start off <clears throat> by prepping the skin so first i'm gonna go in with my long comb hydra zen um i love this stuff it's so good on the skin it hydrates it does what needs to be done And like I said, this is my everyday um, routine before I put on like foundation and concealer. So I want to try it with my everyday routine to kind of see. Next, I'm going to go in with my Dermalogica Prisma Protect um, SPF. I love this one. This one's SPF 30, I believe. Next thing I'm going to go into is the Rem Beauty Under Eye Balm. I really, really like this. I think the texture is a little bit thick. And I do know that with this collection of the concealers, they came out with a face primer, but apparently it's just like this. And I'll be honest with you, how thick this is, I would not want this all over my face. Um, I think it's way too thick for all over the face, but under the eyes is like a nice prep and like primer for that. It's really good. But all over the face, I just couldn't do it. So I didn't get it because I was like, it's a little too thick for me to take that under the eyes um, it really preps it for a good makeup day especially with concealer I'm gonna use the NYX plump it right back um, primer this stuff is amazing I did get the dream cloud beauty blender but I'm gonna be honest with you like $15 for a sponge that I don't even know if it works and I was like no so I didn't get it from the Rem Beauty website, but on Ulta they did have, and I, they might still have it, they did have a promotion where if you purchased a sweetener concealer from their website, you did get this for free, so that's what I did. Um, I got two of them, and the one from Ulta came first. The one from Rem Beauty is still somewhere on its way. So, but yeah, so this is it though. Um, She's wet, she's damp, I rinsed the water out. So this is as big as it gets. So this is supposed to be for like under the eye, kind of getting in the crevices. I do like that I'll probably be able to kind of squeeze it and make it tinier for like more precise application, but we'll see. So I'm gonna go in with foundation first cause that's what I do. So I'm gonna use the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. And I'm kind of gonna still leave the under eyes a little bit bare. I'm not gonna put too much foundation underneath. So, time to unravel our beauty. It comes with a little spatula to apply, and this is what it looks like. Has some good weight to it. Feels like a luxury product. These do retail for $24, I believe. Um, I'm going to put everything kind of below, so $24. These do have 60, 60 shades, which I'm very, very happy to hear. So, I got the shade Light 6N. I ordered the light 10N from the website, but that hasn't come yet. So I'm using the light 6N um, because I'm gonna basically be using this as a concealer. So this is what it looks like. I swatched it a little bit on my sister when I first got it. So that top was me, but we're just gonna get right into it. So I think I'm gonna use the little scoop. This is how the product kind of comes off. And I'm gonna apply. This is supposed to be a buildable medium to full coverage um product first thoughts thick and creamy i'm going ham with the product i feel like so i'm gonna put it everywhere where i typically highlight i'm gonna use our little cloud sponge and we're gonna blend out the product that has really really good coverage um on my chin i do have some like dark spots and I was kind of lazy with my foundation application because, you know, the concealer is the star of the show. But it really covered up what wasn't covered by the foundation. So. Another 
another disclaimer i do crease under my eyes and that's why i did purchase the rem under eye balm because i wanted to see if it'll help which it does um but i do naturally just crease under my eyes for some reason no matter how much i set it so i do expect to see some creasing but i don't expect to see more creasing than i see with my typical products if that makes sense okay so it's all blended out um i like the color the light 6n because i like to go lighter underneath the eyes i like the way it blended out um I don't really think it's settling too much. I do like how creamy it is. I did see some people be like, oh my god, it's way too creamy to where it becomes creasy or it creases. But I like that or I like the consistency of it. So I'm going to go in with my Lancome Long Time No Shine Powder in Shade Translucent. And we're going to set these eyes. Not going to lie, I do see some product separation under this eye i don't know if it's the way that i set the product um but that doesn't typically happen to me with concealers um but i even see it on my nose so i think maybe me going in with the sponge that i used um with the powder wasn't the best idea so i went back with the um brush and then my dry sponge and it fixed it a bit but it did separate a bit but i think that that was the sponge i don't know if it was the product i don't think so but we're gonna wash it throughout the day and kind of see if it separates more like i feel like it's already creasing why is it doing that it's, I, I feel like it's settling really a lot into my creases and it's like it's making me have like darker under eyes i don't know oh i'm upset I'm upset. I really wanted this to work. I'm going to go on with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and set the rest of my face. This is bad. Um, this is bad. And I, yeah, no. Okay. It's like separating all over my nose what the heck is going on you guys see that i don't know i'm looking in my mirror right now like i don't know why it's doing that did this girl now i got two of them and they're both return to sender because uh-uh my concealer does not do this and even my powder never does this what the heck i'm so disappointed right now i'm gonna finish the rest of my face with my Kylie Cosmetics bronzer. This is in shade Tawny Mommy. This is my holy grail. My nose looks so textured. What the heck? It has to be the sponge. It had to have been the sponge. Had to be. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I'm, I'm so upset. Because it looks horrible. Oh my god. <laughs> Lastly, I'm just going to go ahead and set my makeup with some setting spray. I have the MAC Prep and Prime. This one is the Cherry Blossom one. I'm not the biggest fan at the moment. I hate the way that it's separated. I'm I'm so upset about it because I love complexion complexion products. Like complexion products are what I will buy like for the rest of my life. If I had to live with like just one step of the makeup routine, it would be complexion products, foundation, concealer, bronzer, powder. But I don't love this. I feel like it creased really easily. It moved really easily. Um, and it even moves like on my nose, like the makeup that was under the concealer, which you obviously don't want with the concealer. I don't know if it's too thick and maybe I should use it next time without foundation underneath and then kind of do foundation around. Um, but this is what the face looks like. It's currently 9, 10 a.m. So I'm going to go ahead and do my hair, do what I need to do for the day. And I'm going to check in with you guys throughout the day. Um, but initially, I don't like what it did to the makeup underneath. I mean, now that I have everything on, it looks fine. Underneath, there is a little bit of creasing. But like I said, that happens with me. But I feel like um, I have like a dark cast under this eye. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera and I don't typically have that all the time like certain products will do that to me and I don't know why um so that's just something that I noticed um 
that's what the makeup looks like for the day. It's 9 a.m. So I'm gonna do some periodic check-ins with you guys. I'm gonna go do my hair and then we're gonna see. Okay, so I just did my hair and I kind of want to show it off because you know, curls are popping, but I was staring at my makeup in the mirror and I don't think it looks that bad. Um, I mean, underneath here. Oh wait, what the heck is going on there? Like, I don't think it looks that bad. Um, I don't know. I'll continue to do check-ins. This is only a few minutes later, but I was kind of staring at it. And I was I don't think it looks that bad. Um, yeah. Hmm. I really think it'd be a better application if I didn't have foundation underneath, even though a concealer can be used both ways. But we'll try that out eventually. Yeah. It's 12.31 p.m. I ate lunch and the concealer is holding up like I don't think it's really creased anymore. Um, as you can see like there was some separation that I was talking about earlier but I think it's overall staying pretty good. I think my face looks pretty flawless. At first I was a little scared. I was like, oh my god, this is gonna suck. But I'm actually pretty I'm actually kinda liking it. So yeah, and this is like after being outside for a little bit, so now I'm just hanging out. And I'll check in with you guys later. Okay, so it is now a few hours later and this is what the concealer is looking like. So I'll give you guys a close-up from what I'm seeing is under my eyes, like it just settled into my creases and I'm not the biggest fan of that. Um, typically, if a concealer does that, my setting powder will be able to kind of help that. Um, but I don't know, I'm not, I think that it looked flawless um, throughout the day. I don't really like the fact that it settles in though. Let me show you guys. Like, it just looks like I didn't even apply it on some places it's just like really creasing and it's a little bit more than what i'm used to for my typical concealers I really have mixed feelings on this concealer because i think it wore beautifully but it's only been about five hours and it's creasing like this um and i use the under eye balm which typically will help prevent that so as of right now i don't know i have really mixed feelings but i'm gonna continue to play with it i feel like it might be better as like an all over face product like if you wanted to do something natural for the day and instead of foundation you wanted to put on some concealer i feel like it'd be better for that or even as like a primer for the eyes but i will definitely continue to play with it especially because i have another shade on the way um so i'll definitely be playing with it so stay tuned for that but my first initial thoughts just in general of trying it for the first time today i am not the biggest fan it's nothing groundbreaking i think it's cool for a pot concealer if you guys want to try a pot concealer then you know that would be a good one to try because it is creamy but i don't know i just think that it's making more creases than like my anastasia concealer would just comparing it to my everyday concealers let me know down below if you guys have tried it got your hands on it and what you guys think of it i do love the shade range of it but i'm just i don't know maybe maybe it was too creamy for my skin or maybe i need like i said i need to just use it without foundation underneath but yeah the separation of product is still there on my nose obviously like I don't know, I'm just not the biggest fan as to what it did to my makeup today. So you guys let me know down below what you guys think, if you guys tried it or watched other reviews, like what are your guys' opinions on this new line? Um, you guys let me know. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for an update, because I think I want to try to play with it a little more. Also, the sponge it's very 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 soft i like the idea of it to get under the eyes but i feel like it would work better when it's just dry because i feel like when i wet it it got way too soft which ultimately like could perform the way i like my blenders to perform like if i wet it i'll do my entire face and then afterwards i'll use it to set under my eyes and i literally couldn't do it because it wouldn't pick up the powder 
So I don't know. It's also much smaller, but it makes sense because it's for under the eye, but I'm just really not used to it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel, I wish it worked better, but like, I don't know. I just feel like I have this dark cast under my eyes and I use a decent amount of concealer. And if it's medium to full coverage, I feel like it should have, you know, helped mask that rather than accentuate it because we don't. I don't want it to be more noticeable. I would like it to be a little bit more covered. Yeah, so that's how I feel about this collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!